Hi everyone, on today's episode of Pittsburgh Film Locations, I'm going to take you back to 1979. A great year for Pittsburgh that not only saw the city win a Super Bowl and a World Series, but also saw the release of The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. Moses Guthrie, played by Julius Dr. J. Irving, is the star of the struggling Pittsburgh Pythons. The team is just not in sync, so their water boy consults with an astrologist who suggests the entire roster be made up of Pisces just like Moses. A refreshed roster and an updated name, and suddenly the Pittsburgh Pisces are the best team in the league and the whole city has a case of fish fever. Right off the bat, we see the main location for this movie, the Civic Arena. As you're probably aware, the arena was demolished in 2012 and unfortunately is now just a parking lot. If you miss it, watch this movie because it is a love letter to the Civic Arena. In addition to all the basketball action, the team arrives to one game through the open roof via hot air balloon. It's one of the highlights of the film. This basketball court is on the 1800 block of 5th Avenue uptown. Today the basketball court is no more. It's now a parking lot for the adjacent apartment complex. Over on West North Avenue in the central north side, we see the Garden Theater in all its glory. Next door is where the team's official astrologist, Miss Mona Mondu, lives. The Garden Theater has been closed since 2007, but interestingly enough, Mona's building is now home to the brand new Alphabet City Bookstore. Back near the Civic Arena is where Moses makes his home in the film, the Chatham Center Apartments. Some changes, but very much the same as it was nearly four decades ago. The team's water boy picks up Moses, and they take a drive on Bigelow Boulevard. Yes, that is a child driving a Rolls Royce. Later on in the film, we get a glimpse of the Epiphany Church, right across the street from where the Civic Arena once stood, just as recognizable today. And finally, we're treated to a nice little montage of the city catching fish fever during the team's winning streak. They take a ride on the Gateway Clipper and we see Three River Stadium. They couldn't have a movie about fish in Pittsburgh without including Woolies in the Strip District. We have some joggers in Shenley Park. And finally, a guy reading a newspaper right at the corner of 5th and Liberty downtown. I should mention there was also footage shot at the gymnasium at Moon Area High School, but due to renovations over the years, I'm not sure there's anything left to see from this movie there. Maybe some Moon alumni can chime in. That's a wrap for today's episode of Pittsburgh Film Locations. I highly suggest you check out this charming little movie. It really serves as a neat little time capsule of Pittsburgh, and I didn't even mention the disco soundtrack. As always, be sure to share this video and subscribe to the channel to see more, and let me know what films you would like to see me cover.